All right, so this is the PRS SE Swamp Ash Special. Um, this one came off the UPS truck this morning, uh, and then I've just been kind of playing around with it a little bit. Uh, I did record a video as soon as it came off the truck, but I lost my voice from the flu recently, and I really sounded like crap, so <clears throat> I'm back. So I haven't had a PRS before. I do own a couple of Schecters, which are sitting behind me. <laughs> um seven string there's a Gretsch there's a six string directly behind me and then to my right there's a Martin acoustic um so this is my first PRS and I wanted something that would be similar to a Strat or kind of have more of a vintage tone along with sort of the ability to kind of have a little bit of a Strat quack with the push-pull pot um but not necessarily be a Strat so Super stoked for this. Uh, these were uh, these are backward very heavily, uh, and they when I tried to get on the list with Sweetwater and Guitar Center and stuff, they said it would be out until May of 2024, and I got really lucky with this one because I saw it on Reverb, and Danville Music out of California was able to ship it to me and it got here a day early. So super stoked for it. Um, if you're already watching this video, you probably already know everything about the Swamp Ash Special. You know, it's a uh, swamp ash body, it's maple neck, it's got a scarf neck joint, it's got the cool abalone in inlays, which are like the best part, easily the best part of the entire guitar. Um, and then it's got the iris blue color. Some websites and stuff call it like iri blue, but I think it's a typo. Uh, and then, of course, it's the, the pickups, it's got the coil splitting of the humbuckers and then it's got the Anusio steel single coil in the middle so when you push the push pull pot uh it activates the single coil plus uh either of the uh coil split single coils in the humbuckers and so i'm just going to kind of demonstrate some tones i'm playing through a orange crush 35 rt and then i have a head rush mx5 pedal board or virtual amp simulator so it's kind of a clean channel. Um, so we'll start with the uh, humbuckers, and this is, you're not gonna be able to see this because of the camera, but um, I'll just kind of go through some tones, so. <laughs> fun of this guitar is really when you do the push pull pot and start getting the single pull stuff so here's uh, some of the single pull <laughs> kind of got a little bit of a quack to it, which is what I was looking for. Obviously it's, I'm sure some Strat fanboys are gonna be like, it's not a real Strat. And of course it's not, right? Like there's so many factors of a Strat that make it that traditional Strat quack. But to have something that's a little bit closer than what I have back there, which is active EMGs on one of them and uh, just straight humbuckers on the other one, um, you know, this, this definitely kind of, I think fills the need for me right now. <laughs>
Um, so this is the middle with the single coils. It's some weird combo that I can't remember off the top of my head, but we'll try it. Mm -hmm. So that's all I got. Um, yeah, hit me with questions. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. And I think the craftsmanship's really nice. Um, it's a little bit heavy. Um, at this one, I haven't weighed it yet, but it feels pretty heavy. And the other thing is that if it's sitting in your lap, like it's sitting on my thigh right now, um, the butt of it is so, I guess the weight distribution's a little off and the butt of it keeps trying to fall. Like it wants to roll off my leg all the time, which my other ones don't do that. Of course, they're different shapes, so it's hard to compare. Uh, and then the other weird thing that I noticed, a lot of people online complain that the, or some people complain that the edges of the fret were sharp, and I have no trouble with that. They're very rounded. Like they're not sitting proud of the fretboard or anything. But mine has these like giraffe marks. I wonder if I can get the camera to zoom. Maybe not. Um, it has these like little etch marks where it looks like they drafted out the lines to put the frets in to glue them on. Um, and there's still like residual marks, like where there was like shallow cuts made. Um, and I feel like that doesn't look super great. I'm still super happy with the guitar. You know, everything else looks great. The neck joint looks really nice. The body looks crazy. And the abalone inlays look crazy. Um, but just this weird thing with the edges of the frets where they drafted them out. So I'm going to keep playing with it a little bit more and hit me with any questions. So thanks.